Welcome to a decade special CBBT. My name is Big Boy Trev. My name is Burigi. And today we have an amazing show because we're talking about stuff that has made an impact in the motor industry between 2010 and 2019 and looking forward past 2020. But first things first. Let's check out the news. So it's going to be an interesting decade, 2020 to 2030. We don't know if we're going to be alive, but we're here to start it all. And one of the cars that I am very keen to see is a hybrid between Volkswagen and Ford. I don't know what it's going to be called, uh, uh, Ford Amarok Ranger, I don't know what it's going to be called. But you've seen the synergy between companies. You've seen Ford coming together with Volkswagen to create a product that is making sense to them. You've seen others, Nissan with Renault and Mitsubishi. You've seen uh, now, even now, FCA, which is uh, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles now partnering with Peugeot. Mr. Murig, what do you think the future holds for the motor industry past 2020? Well, it's going to be very interesting because we are seeing a lot of shifts that have begun to happen. Even in Kenya itself, a lot of people are not buying a fast car, they're using Uber. So we are, we are seeing changes in how people are moving around. So we need to think about the car past just mobility, uh, past just getting from point A to B and start thinking about mobility in total. You've seen what's happening in Rwanda with Volkswagen. Yes. They're actually using those cars that they're assembling as taxis. Wow. We're not expecting people to actually buy the car and drive it around every day. So we should be able to see some of those benefits starting to come down to us. Yes. So more autonomous vehicles or autonomous features in existing vehicles and a lot more of specialty vehicles that are targeting specific things like you've seen with the suzuki jimny and of course we can't talk about the future without mentioning the brand new land rover defender oh yes that yeah. is an exciting thing of course cars is big but it will be the first to sample it and we'll give you a real breakdown of what it can do does it you know follow the heritage it has with the old school defender and currently feed the the, the current population the current trends of having a butch car that is also very popular. Again, another car that I think, or another trend that we're supposed to see over this 20, 20 to 20, 30 period is electric cars. Yeah. Now you've started seeing that Nissan Leaf has taken shape. It's now the best selling electric car in the world, 700,000 units are produced every year. But now Volkswagen ID, they have a target of 1 million electric vehicles uh, per year by 2022, which is amazing because now you've seen a shift are we seeing the end of the combustion engine, Mr. Mutik? Well, I mean, it's, it's on its way out. That's what I'll say. I'll never say that it's going to completely be out of there completely. I think what we're going to see is what happened when the, when the internal combustion engine itself replaced horses. Now, what's going to happen is that it, a horse is going to be something that you go on the weekend, go to a track and experience and have fun with. I think that's what's going to happen with, with internal combustion engines very far in the future, not in the short term, because there are very many of those cars that are here. And then there's the infrastructure that we keep forgetting of the fuel stations. We have not replaced electricity with fuel stations, fuel stations with electricity. So that infrastructure is going to take some time to check in. But until it does, we're going to see more of hybrids leading the charge. And then now more and more electric vehicles. They're no longer a niche, niche anymore, yes, yes. by the way. Now they are mainstream products coming in at mainstream prices with mainstream features, range, everything seems to be okay. We're going to see more of that in that decade. And more of that in Kenya and in Africa as a whole. Because the thing is, our power production is, is renewable energy. So as opposed to now, uh, most of the, the developed countries get their power from very dirty sources. Yes. Now your f uh, fossil fuels and your coal. Now most of our power is actually very clean, so it, it closes that cycle. So not only is the car electric, but the electricity that is powering the car is also clean. So we'll have a very fantastic effect on the economy. But I think going forward, there's going to be more of hybrids leading into now electric vehicles, and then more of special vehicles for special applications. Wow, guys, yeah. that is so much information that you need to digest. If you have any questions, comments, or queries, don't hesitate to write to us at seen on the social media notes below, and we'll try and answer them. We'll try and cover these topics as much as we can so that you remain informed and, of course, get to know the trends that are happening across the world. Come in, come in, come in, and welcome to the spacious cabin of the F-Type R. I'm big boy, but this sports car feels as comfortable as probably an XF 
or an XE would feel there's no much difference, there's plenty of space. And the reason is Jaguar have taken a lot of time to make sure that the F-Type competes with the likes of the Porsche 911 and many other variants of the Aston Martin and many more. This particular F-Type now is in its fourth year, but it's done a refresh, of course. So you have plenty of new stuff from the infotainment system to the gearbox and, and, and drive selection. Of course, you have all-wheel drive as standard in this particular variant. So the highlight of this particular car is this curvy center console. It looks like a jet fighter setup pilot thing. And you do have a pistol grip. So when you're driving sideways, your passenger can hold on for dear life. That said, you do have the center console. You do have the touchscreen, which has the navigation, obviously. And you have your radio, your audio. And of course, you do have climate control, which is very important. And of course, right below it, you do have the uh, AC system where you can actually change the amount of heat getting from left to right. It's dual zone, so the passenger can have their own temperature setting and you can have yours without any stress. And right below it, of course, you do have a uh, different setup, of course. And then you do have the gearbox console. Now here is where the magic happens. Here, here, right here. So you have piano finish uh, that lays on top of the gear, gear shift selector. So you do have... Um, let me switch it on. As you can hear, the purr of a V8. Uh, you do have the gearbox as well. And then you do have a race mode. And then you do have Jaguar um, slip differential unit where you can control how the Jaguar takes off on slippery surfaces. Of course, you do have stability control. And then you do have um, exhaust mode. You can change it from sporty um, all the way to um, standard. So you listen to that. Sporty exhaust and then <laughs> obviously speaking about the center console over here you do have two dials it's traditional steering there's nothing graphic about it so you do have a speedometer and a tachometer and in between you do have a color display that's the size of a phone that gives you all the vital information including the kilometers the range of the vehicle and of course vehicle dynamics so if it's set up in dynamic mode or track mode and you're able to see uh, you know g-forces and how the vehicle is steering left or right and you're able to achieve so much more The seats are quite supportive as you can see, big boy is quite comfortable in it, um, even the passenger is very comfortable. So if you're two people, probably with your preferred other, like my crush, who's a TV presenter but we're not going to mention names, would sit here and should be very comfortable in this particular F-Type R. Of course, you have body hugging, lumbar support system that keeps you in check. You don't move, you know, when you're going fast on the highway like a rat. And of course you do have settings on the door so you do have uh, you can actually have memory seats that you adjust to the level if it's you're shorter you can actually put the seats higher up or move forward and then you can program it over there on the door and you'll be able to store that setting so when you come back you just press one and the seat just automatically reconfigures itself for you again if you look here, as we discussed earlier, you do have quite a number of things. You have the satellite buttons, you've got the steering wheel, which is all uh, draped in leather, of course. And you do have the Jaguar sign right at the airbag point. And you do have satellite, uh, satellite buttons that allows you to control uh, cruise control, heated uh, steering wheel. And of course, you do have the menus that control the radio and so much more. So, guys, it's time. I feel, I feel like we need to drive this car. Five liter V8. 500 horsepower, a lot of horsepower, 625 newton meters of torque, sent to the forward courtesy of an 8-speed ZF gearbox. That is a recipe for so much fun. Stay tuned, we're on the road, we're going to find out if this thing is truly a proper jack. This week on Cars with Big Boy Drive, we discuss the importance of major annual service. To ensure maximum longevity of your car, car manufacturers have a servicing schedule that owners need to adhere to. Normally done between 15,000 and 20,000 kilometers, 
major service involves the checking and replacing of parts that are critical to the safe operation of your vehicle. Based on the schedule designed by your vehicle's manufacturer, the following critical components and systems are thoroughly checked and replaced, if necessary. Engine oil is replaced with new, clean oil, which makes your engine run more efficiently. The oil, air, fuel, and pollen filters are all replaced, making your car run more effectively. Spark plugs that are used in the combustion process are replaced to maximize your vehicle performance and enhance fuel economy. Your brakes are inspected for leaks and wear and tear. If they are in good condition, they are cleaned and adjusted if necessary. The transmission, clutch, brake, power steering and coolant fluids are all flushed and replaced to ensure that the systems utilizing those fluids run perfectly. All major car service includes a road test to pick up any problems that can't be detected by simply inspecting the engine and the drivetrain. Once items like suspension bushes and links are replaced, the road test ensures that they are secured and fitted perfectly. A full safety inspection is performed so that you can have complete confidence in your car. Brake adjustment, steering angle position, wheel alignment and balancing, plus a radiator pressure check for leakages. Testing your battery makes sure that your battery is charging correctly. If the battery acid levels are low, then deionizing water is used to bring the levels back up to their required position. On top of all this, the gearbox, transfer case and differential oils are all checked and are your wiper blades and all of your bulbs. Major service ensures the longevity of your vehicle and helps it maintain its resale value. Always use genuine replacement parts and service your car at a reputable dealer who will care for your car and keep service records for future reference. Ready, three, two, one. <laughs> Uh, that just sent all to the four wheels cutters of this gearbox and I can tell you this, the oil dust setup in this car is amazing. It's a very what do you think about this? Uh, uh, it has just blown my mind. I really can't explain what that feeling was like. Uh, <laughs> this this is now I think is the section of the show that we're going to call Big Cat Diaries. <laughs> and this is the biggest of the cats that they have in the Jaguar stable. Absolutely. As in this this is quite something. This this as in because the power to weight ratio, the fact that we're sitting so low. Yes. The amount of noise this thing was making from the active exhaust was ridiculous. The power was really quite something. The way it feels, we're about to take you through uh, the slalom. Yes. Kids, don't try this at home. We have a professional driver and this is a closed course. But uh, we are the Jaguar Experience Center in Johannesburg. They've allowed us gracious use of the slalom track. So this is a very safe environment. We'd not suggest that anybody tries this. Yes, please. But they have set up for us a set of cones that will allow us now to try out now the dynamic capabilities of this car. And I think that's what Trevor is up to right now. So right now, you can actually feel the suspension tightening up. And of course, you can even feel the power of the vehicle coming in. Dialing in on the steering wheel. <laughs> and the all-wheel drive trying to control my setup perfectly and this is courtesy of this 5 liter v8 so there's so much fun on this vehicle it's because it's the way the engine has been set up remember this particular engine 
it's also fun it's uh way on the range rover family with the range rover supercharged and now the f-pace supercharged yeah are. and so those are those huge. are two-ton cars so like yes. now with with this kind of weight and this kind of power yes. and they've made sure that they've tuned it to give it that jaguar flair you know yes. that just that thing that tells you that this is uniquely a jaguar and <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> the cat is hungry listen, and Trevor is feeding it. <laughs> listen, listen. What? This car is for the little boy in it's you. I'm not going boy. to lie. I'm just this, years old. This, uh, I mean, you know, I, we can't talk about practically when yes. it comes to this car. Uh, it's just a two-seater. Doesn't have that much in terms of luggage capacity, but what it does have yes. in large quantities is fun. Yes. It carries a lot more fun than you can carry in this car. It is tons of fun. This is something, honestly my god this is not the car that you buy to park outside and let people see it this is the car you want to do that by the range rover let people see your range yeah. rover this is the car that you buy to drive with power comes control yes this particular car has got huge massive discs stoppers that allows you to get from zero to 100 depending on, on no 100, 100 to zero, to zero yeah. in less than 33 meters so yeah we're gonna try something and then and then we're gonna stop ah. you can feel the g-force yeah you feel the g-force yeah those are the stoppers which allows you to control this car the limit of how fast you go is basically how fast you can stop yes so the, the, being being able to have this kind of braking ability this abs that's that's built into this yes. and then i think there's also the active spoiler active that spoiler, pops up yes. and, and helps you now from an aero perspective yes. this is quite something That's it guys, thank you so much for joining us on Cars with Big Boy Trev. Send your comments on our social media handles as seen below and we'll get back to you. It's been an honor, I'm Big Boy Trev. I'm Rigi. Be safe and drive safe.